Hi everyone, I'm Miss Laura from the Lake Villa District Library and welcome back for another Family Story Time. Today we're going to read some books, sing some songs, and have a family dance party break. But before we get started, we have to sing our first song. It's called These Are My Glasses. And you need glasses for this, but you can make them with your hands. So you're going to make two circles with your hands like this and put them over your eyes and say, these are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and I open up the book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses, and I close up the book. You ready to sing? Wonderful. Get your glasses on, and here we go. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look. Look, look, I put down my glasses and close up the book. Excellent. All right, you ready for a story? I have three new ones to share with you today. We're going to start with this one right here. This is called Off Limits, and it's written and illustrated by Helen Yoon. So this is all about using your imagination. Here we go. <clears throat> now it looks like we have maybe a dad here that's putting a sign on the door that says off limits. His office door, I think. Yep, off limits. And then he's walking away. And then, do you spy what I spy? You have a little girl maybe? It's peeking. I think she's opening that door to that office that maybe is off limits. Hello, I'm just looking. There's nothing wrong with just looking. And I don't think anyone would miss one piece of tape, just one teeny tiny piece. How about another? Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Why, hello, Mr. Lamp. What a lovely scarf. Oh, now, we are using our tape for way more than just putting pieces of paper together. Look at that. We have lots and lots of tape. Do you know what would look good with your scarf, Mr. Lamp? <gasps> now we have tape all over our face. Paper clips, paper clips, and binder clips, painter clips, and paper clips, binder clips, and <gasps> what's inside that drawer? <gasps> Hello, post its pinky, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, yellow. La, 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 la. Now we're having way too much fun with these office supplies. Good night and joy to be, joy be to all. <laughs> oh man, we are no longer just looking. Look at the mess. <gasps> Uh-oh. So let's just tiptoe out. Maybe no one will notice. I'm in so much trouble. Going back to her room. <gasps> Daddy! Uh-oh. Looks like Daddy was maybe having some fun in her room too, huh? <laughs> Daddies are lots of fun. Off limits. All right, ready for another one? This one is called The Bedtime Book, and it's written and illustrated by Todd Parr. This is brand new. So here we go. Mm -mm. It's time for bed. Quiet. Do not disturb. 
but no one is ready for bed. The puppy has to brush his teeth. The narwhal needs to take her bath. The raccoon has the hiccups. Hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. The bear is hungry. The baby goats are still jumping on the bed. No one seems sleepy at all. The fun, the lion needs to brush his mane and the kitties are ready for their bedtime story. Go to bed! But the pig found a giant spider in a room. Hi! And the hippopotamus can't find his pajama bottoms. Oh no! The elephant heard a noise in the closet. The beaver has a toothache. Oh, my tooth hurts. The dog has to go potty. The giraffe's bed is too small. The skunk is thirsty. And Mr. Biggles the bear is missing. Who cares? Go to sleep, says that owl. But the sheep are still counting sheep. <laughs> A fly is keeping the cow awake. Moo! Shoo! The bear has a mm, tummy ache. Mm, my tummy hurts. The hamster can't stop running. And polar bears are chilly. Now will everyone please go to sleep? The penguins need their nightlight. And the bunny wants one last hug and kiss. Good night. Sleeping is very important. Mm -hmm. If you don't get enough sleep, you will be very crabby. The end. Love, Todd. <gasps> Wake up. Just kidding. Good night. The bedtime book. I love Todd Parr books. All right. Now that you've been listening so good, I think it's time to get up and move around. We are going to do our family dance party break. This song is called One, Two, Three, Wee! It's by the learning group. You can use a scarf. I'll probably dance with a scarf. Or you can just use your body or a stuffed animal. And we're going to count and say wee. And we might do some jumping. And we'll learn, use our listening ears and maybe do some more stuff. I'm going to pause the video, move everything back so I have room. You can gather your family. And I'll see you in a second. All right. I have my space. I have my scarf and I'm ready to dance. Are you? Here we go. Shake your scarves. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Jump! One, two, three, jump! jump. 
see you in a second. <gasps> Wasn't that fun? Okay, we have time for our last story. One more story. It's called Wildfire. So this is written and illustrated by Ashley Wolf. Here we go. So what happens when there's a fire in the forest? Who takes care of it? We will find out. We have to protect all those animals, don't we? Buck hears the rumble. Squirrel sees the flash. Jay spreads the news. Fire, fire in the forest! Turkey vultures spot the first wisp high in Spruce Mountain Tower. Maria spots it too. See it? Radios crackle. Evergreen dispatch to Red Bridge crew. Spruce Mountain Tower. Spruce Mountain Tower reporting light colored smoke. Roger that, Spruce Mountain. Calling out Red Bridge crew. High on Spruce Mountain, flames flicker through pine needles. Doe nudges her sleepy twins. Raven croaks, fire, fire in the forest. Pilots get their launch orders. Aircraft take off, bellies full of water and retardant. They follow the air attack plane, all heading towards Spruce Mountain. So they're going to try and put out the fire from the airplanes instead of fire trucks. Coyote gives three sharp barks and gathers his band. They crawl into their den. Redtail screams, fire, fire, fire in the forest. Mia banks her plane hard. Parachutes bloom and float. Smoke jumpers land and roll, scrambling to their feet. They rush to fight the fire. Look at that. There's firefighters that fall from the planes. Instead of trucks, they have planes. Black Bear feels the hot wind. Calling her cubs, she wades into the bog. Great gray owl hoots, fire, fire, fire in the forest. Red Bridge crew roars into a burning meadow. Don aims his nozzle, knocking down flames. Brennan and his hot shot crew hack out a rough fire break. Trying to stop that fire. Porcupine hurries to hide. Cougar hisses at a flaming branch. Woodpecker chatters, fire, fire, fire in the forest! Air tanker circles, retardant billowing from cargo doors. Helicopter follows, dumping a first load of water. But flames still spread, driven by hot wind. Tired crews are falling behind. Oh no, the fire's getting out of control. Turtles burrow in the mud. Frogs hunker down between rocks. Wood duck quacks, fire, fire, fire in the forest. The forest crackles and booms. Towering pines explode. Heads up, crew, yells Brennan as one crashes across the fire line. Oh no, that's a dangerous job. They have to be very careful, don't they? Rowan's bulldozer roars. He plows a wide alley, pushing fuel away from the flames. The scraped earth finally halts the fire's march. Oh, that's really good. When darkness comes, the forest is still bright with flames. But the wind has stopped. The fire line is holding. A storm climbs Spruce Mountain, dousing the flames. Hot spots hiss. Rain is just what we need. Tired firefighters gather their gear and roll back to base. Pilots fly through the night, ferrying smoke jumpers to a new fire far to the south. It's never ending, that job. As the scorched ground cools, Doe searches for grassy meadows. Squirrel finds an open cone stuffed with nuts. Coyote and his band howl at the stars. And life continues on Spruce Mountain. The end.
And in the back, there's lots and lots of information about forest fires and smoke jumpers and firefighters that fight for that fight fires specifically in the woods. There's lots of really important information here. So if you really like wood, li- wood life and forests and firefighters, definitely check this out and read some things because I bet you'll learn something new. Wildfire. Okay. Story time's over, guys. But don't worry, we have one last song to sing. It's called Skin a Marink. Can you find your elbows for me? I have two of them. One, two. You ready? Here we go. Skin a marink, a dink, a dink. Skin a marink, a do. I love you. Skin a marink, a dink, a dink. Skin a marink, a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marink, a dink, a dink, skin a marink, a do. I love you. Yay! Thanks for listening to Storytime. You can check out more of them on our YouTube channel. You can come on into the library, say hi to us, check out our books, and see what other stuff we have going on. See you next time. Bye!